Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk to you about what I think is kind of a weird trend um, in vintage wares uh, and it seemed to be primarily going on during the 1950s and 1960s and what it is is uh, for some reason there was a large and diverse number of items that they put music boxes into. So I want to talk about it a little bit because A, it's unusual, and B, it can be a way for you to potentially identify something in terms of when it was made by virtue of the fact that it has a, an inexplicable music box in it. So I have a collection here of items that all date roughly to the 1950s and 1960s and I wanted to kind of show the breadth. I, I don't necessarily have enough items in my personal inventory to really give you a sense of it but hopefully a little bit of a sense of the wide variety of items that for some odd reason um, the manufacturers or designers felt they needed to put music in it. So anyway, what we have here um, is this is a, a little bar set and I'll show you that you know you lift the lid on it and when you take the bottle out it plays a song. I mean I guess kind of cute in a way but the thing I find a little weird about that is typically you would give barware, especially in this particular case, it's like a train, to men. And I, I don't know that this is the sort of feature that men would necessarily be excited about. So there's that. And then here's another bar piece that also you can see has a music box built into the base. And plays a little slowly. But you can see, if I set it down, the music stops. It should stop. Um, it's got this little peg right here. When you rest it on a surface, it would theoretically stop the music. Anyway, so these are both bar items that, in theory, would be gifted to men. And, again, I'm not sure what the appeal of the music box is in this particular category, because... If the music box was there or not there, I don't know that it would increase or decrease the value of the gift to the recipient, but whatever. Um, and then we have this vanity mirror, which I'm going to flip it around so you can see. In the back, it has a music box built into the mirror itself. Um, and that strikes me as fairly odd because you don't really think of music as something that is a part of your makeup or primping experience. But okay. <laughs> and then this item over here is a little bit more um, commonplace. It's a copper um, sculpture. However, it's a copper sculpture of a toilet. And I don't necessarily, again, think of music as being a key feature of your toilet visits but um, it also has a music box and if I remember correctly, there we go, the little hand moves in time to the music, which makes sense for men. Okay, we gotta get this to stop. It makes sense from an animatronic point of view that you'd want the funny little hand. Let's see if I can get it better coming out of the outhouse trying to grab toilet paper. That makes sense. Um, why music is a part of that animatronic situation? I don't know. The tune on the back, it has a sticker that says, those were the days. I, again, not real clear on how that particular tune is relevant to using the restroom. <laughs> But the reason I pulled this group together, and I'm going to keep holding the toilet thing because it wants to keep playing and I don't see an off button anywhere that I can use to stop it. And there it goes again. 
Um, so I, I wanted to kind of feature these to give you an idea of <clears throat> the sorts of unusual items that came with music boxes and also to just kind of let you know that if you saw something out, you know, at an estate sale or a thrift store and it had a music box that seemed like a weird feature for such an item, that that would probably tell you that it was made sometime around the 1950s or 1960s, possibly a little later, bleeding into the 70s. And I have seen a few earlier pieces that would, you know, kind of trickle into the late 1940s. So it's, you know, kind of the 50s and 50s, 60s is a general timeline, but it could be slightly earlier or slightly later. But uh, the main key point being the presence of a music box that doesn't seem to be particularly relevant to the type of item that it is appears to be a sort of a trend amongst um, gift items of this time period. Uh, in my mind, I liken it to, let's say, a fidget spinner craze or, you know, um, what we currently have where manufacturers want to put little digital computerized chips and everything whether it needs it or not you know I guess it would be similar in that sense of well let's have everything be musical because it isn't that novel <laughs> so anyway I wanted to talk about it a little bit because I run into these musical things all the time and it's possible if you visit estate sales with any regularity you might too and so if nothing else the presence of the music box can give you a hint about how old it is so anyway, I hope you've learned something helpful today, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.